diversity and uh, you know, and everybody hated us and uh, counted us out already that uh, you know we was able to pull through. What did Steven and Montrez bring to the table today off the bench? They brought a lot of energy and uh, they came out and played great. BT uh, had a great tip dunk at the you know towards the end of the half and uh, you know really ignited us. Montrez came in and had a great dunk and ignited us uh, to get on a you know a run and you know then two really helped out and really showing our depth you know because you know if we get some foul trouble you know Coach B feels comfortable putting them both in. Was it simple? Was it simple energy with Montrez because when he came in it seemed like the whole complexion of the game changed. Definitely, uh, you know with Montrez you know he's a very big guy, a lot of energy, he's very strong and uh, he came in and he came in and made his presence felt right away. I mean he's gonna be a you know heck of a player down the road and uh, you know he's a heck of a player for us right now and uh, he's only gonna get better. We got five weeks left in the season. You guys are tied for third in spite of taking the three losses. What does that mean to you and the two road games ahead this week? Uh, it means a lot. You know, we drop those three games. It's, you know, very winnable games. It's not like last year when we lost by 31 in Providence. So, uh, you know, we learned from our mistakes. We learned from what we could do. And uh, you know, now we have to go in there and, uh, you know, continue to get these road wins and, you know, continue to push forward. Uh, you know, like the Big East, you just never know what can happen. Like you seen last night, Pitt beat Syracuse. And you just never know what could go on. So, uh, you know, to get this win was a big win for us. What is your biggest weakness right now? You think, what have you learned from those losses? What did that expose you, if anything? And how does that help you down the stretch? I just think, you know, if we play a lot harder and, uh, you know, just come out with the same energy every game, then, you know, we can be a lot better. I think, uh, you know, everybody came out that focus today and, you know, hit the glass and really play hard tonight. Thank you. Thanks very much. Hey, the coach comes in with the black slacks on and shows out in the court with the white suit on. You knew he was going to wear the white suit. I knew he was going to wear it, so you can't fool me. I've been here four years, so, but, uh, no, nah, you, you should have seen it when he came back in the lock. He had a polo on a black coat. He was like, did you wear that underneath your white coat? But, uh, you know, it was cool to see him come out there like that. And, um, you know, it was cool to, you know, have him, you know, participate in the wide out. And, uh, you know, we just try to get him a win. What was the key to that 22-4 run? Montrez, those guys came off the bench. You know, how much of a lift? I think, you know, they really helped us out with their energy. They came in and brought a lot of energy off the bench. And, um, you know, then that's really ignited everybody else. And I think that, you know, really helped us out, you know, continue to run and push the ball. And I think we did a good job of that. Coach, you said that, that the one negative about this team is that there's some immaturity in here as far as guys, you know, following little things. Stuff. Is that changing? Is it is it turning now as you get to February? I mean, you know, we have a we're a lighthearted group. I mean, you know, it's, it's tough for us. some guys to pay attention sometimes, but you know that you know that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, you know, after our three losses, everybody you know had the same spirit. And, you know, we made practice a lot funner. And, uh, you know, Coach P said make practice fun, but make it competitive and you know pay attention. So you know, nobody really wants to go through a three-hour practice, two-hour practice. But uh, you know, for us, we made it fun and you know enjoy and, you know, challenge each other. Like, okay, Shane always goes at Kevin, talking about you can't guard him. I tell Wayne if you dribble the ball, I'm gonna pick him and go the other way. Uh, you know, so it kind of goes both ways. And uh, you know, I think everybody is really you know, paying attention more now and uh, really getting it. So the mood of the fan base is a lot different from Wake Week, but you guys, is, is the mood here the same? Or two wins does it change things a little bit at least? I mean, uh, you know, that was one thing that you know we've been through that before. Uh, you know, the fan base, you know, they love you, they hate you, and. Uh, um, you know, we just came together as a team and, you know, really just rooted behind each other. Uh, you know, everybody's, you know, wrote us off already, talking about we lost three games in a row. But, um, you know, last year we lost our last four out of six games and, you know, still went to the final four. So, you know, we've been in these situations before and I think it was a, you know, great deal for our team to come together like this and really, you know, pick each other up and, you know, go out there and play hard. I mean, you know, it's the Big East. You know, uh, somebody said we haven't beat George. I haven't beat George Allen in four of my years, you know. I mean, I, I wanted to beat them, but, you know, they play us tough. It's all about matchups in the Big East. And, you know, tonight we matched up well against Marquette. And, uh, you know, we got to win. But they're a great team. They work hard. The coaches, you know, they're a reflection of their coach. And, uh, you know, we just try to go out there and give it back to them. Any Super Bowl predictions? I got the Seahawks next year.